Is that my sock? That's my sock! <laughs> Do you want to pause it? I want to show, yeah. I want to show the dungeon. Hi, Jasmine! <laughs> sorry. That's not professional, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ew, what? Oh, oh no! Am I allowed to talk? Yeah. Okay. Share your feelings. I don't know, I don't have any. Always. <laughs> Windows. Don't mind us, we're just filming an awkward dorm floor. Okay, recording. All right, this is my door. I live, there's technically three dorms in all of Waseda for international students. So there's Hoshia, Nishi Waseda, and Waseda International Student House. Wow. Which is not to be confused with WISH, which is for the four-year students. This is just for people on exchange. So this is her. On the right-hand side, you have North Wing. And then on the left, you have South. They're technically connected, but we have different kitchens technically different showers and laundry rooms, but yeah, so come on. I don't have a key. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, girl, I'm not this a professional. We'll have like the blooper reel. Okay, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm catching a bug bite. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hello, I'm TV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Okay, so when you first come in, this is our game plan. And it, for those of you who don't know, you always take off your shoes in Japanese homes. So around the corner, we have shoe boxes which correspond to our room numbers, and we keep our slippers and our shoes in there. And then we also have mail here and shoe forms if you want them. There's also an umbrella rack, but it's all shared. Like this area is not shared, but it's all shared. <laughs> and then one of our few mirrors in the entire place. There's this. There is the elevator mirror, and then there's your bathroom mirror, so good luck. <laughs> okay. Then when you come around the corner, we have a message board, which I don't, haven't really ever read anything on here, but sometimes we have stuff about when they come to do fire inspections or when they're going to turn off the showers for whatever reason. And then recently we had to like complete our move out at the Shinjuku office, so that was what that was about. Oh wait, Isabella checking in and out. I mean, but that has names on it. Oh, never yeah. mind. Because I was like, I thought about that and I was like, hmm. Okay, you're right. No names. So next we're gonna go over and head to the laundry. The laundry? <laughs> not the laundry, the laundry. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. <laughs> laundry. <laughs> Also, the rooms are separated by gender, or the floors are separated by gender. So first floor you have boys, second and third girls, and then fourth is boys again, which I don't understand because we share showers and like everything else. So I don't get why our rooms can't be next to each other, but it's the way it is. This is one of two shower rooms. This is, I think, the one that everyone uses though. But essentially, you come in, there's six different stalls, and the protocol for when you shower is that you keep the main door open if no one's using it, but there's an inner door that actually is like the shower bit of it, and you always want to keep that closed so that the fan can work, because if it doesn't work, the water will stay in and mold will develop. Moving on down, we have some laundry machines. They only take Shakuen people. There has been people throughout the year, all year long, and then they'll be like, hey, who's 50 yen coin is this? Because they don't take them, but people still do it. So Shakuen only. If there's a hole in the middle, do not insert. <laughs> this also dryers up here. I personally never use them because I find that the clothes don't get that much dryer. But if you want, go for it. <laughs> also, since you guys are about to move in, this is all of the stuff that's left over from people who are moving out that you can use when you first get here. It was the same when we moved in. It'll be gone shortly though, and then you'll have to buy our own, but take advantage while you can. Probably go down there, but someone's down there. 
So we're gonna go up here first. This is now technically North Wing that we are in. North Wing's all girls, right? I have no idea. I think so. I, think I, I don't know a single boy is in North Wing. But it's the same layout as South Wing. I think the rooms are smaller, but you pay less rent there for. And I also think they don't have balconies. Oh, true. Okay, this is North Wing kitchen. It comes with all of the rice cookers, you have toasters, microwaves, bowls, utensils, there's a little ironing board, place to hang out, TV, and then over here. No, where's the light? Oh, oh. <laughs> and there we go. In here, oh, theirs is different than ours. What? They have gas burners. On the fifth floor, we have electric. electric. Dude, that's weird. I never come over here. And then you share cabinets in your own personal cubbies, of course. Just like before, it's always just according to your room number. And, and then here we separate trash. trash. So pet bottles, and you want to remove the lid and the label. Probably cans is one of these. Combustibles, non-combustibles, plastic. And then we won't go outside, but if you want to throw out your trash, and not go all the way around the building. You come through this door, and that is our trash out there. It looks really crazy right now since everyone's moving out, but normally it is not that full. <laughs> also, they leave slippers here for you to quickly go in and out. All right, we're moving on. Okay, so it's the next day. That's why I'm wearing a different outfit, but this is the first time that the dungeon is free, and it's the last place that we haven't showed you. So follow me. Oh, why not? Watch your head. This, I believe, is technically supposed to be the laundry room and the showers for uh, North Wing, but they use like South Wing's area, which is fine. But you have three more showers, which I never use just because it's like a farther walk. But honestly, I think they're the better showers, like the water pressure is better and they're much cleaner <laughs> because no one ever comes down here. And then you also have some more laundry machine units. This one over here is special. It's the only one that takes 150. And it's because it leaves your clothes a little bit drier when they come out, which also like, it's kind of like these drying machines where it's not that much drier. I used it once, but to use it every single week to do your laundry for like 50 cents, like it adds up for like not that much of a benefit, but it's there if you want it. And then we just have like some more cleaning supplies, which I'm not sure if we're allowed to use or if it's just for the robo sun to use to clean. But you can ask, if not, like you can buy like really cheap cleaning products at Donkey. But yeah, this is the dungeon. One of my favorite spots because it's so weird. <laughs> all right, that is all. Okay, so there should be a bathroom within your room. We also do have like communal bathrooms that are on the first and fifth floor, but we're not supposed to use them. Like they don't keep toilet paper in them and stuff. So like use at your own risk or bring your own toilet paper. <laughs> And then also there's just throughout all the hallways and stuff, there's all these like random cabinets. So I actually didn't know about this. I don't know whether it's for like hiding or just storage. I'm not really sure, but there are cabinets up the wazoo. Closets? Yeah, I'll call it a closet. It's a little Harry Potter's house under the stairs. <laughs> what if I made that my room? Yeah, I know, like what if I lived there? Also, some rules for the dorm. So depending on which dorm you live in, there's different rules. Our dorm does not allow you to have guests like at all, like it's very strict. Even parents, if you want them to come and see your room, you have to fill out this form and it's very like strict. So I would just, I would just advise not. Hoshin, they have a common room that people can come into. I don't know about Nishiwasana, but ours is a big no-no. Okay, we are now up on the second floor. It's the same as the first floor, it's just bedrooms, but I want to show you the storage deposits. So on every floor there's a storage room, there should be a vacuum in there for you to use to clean your own room because our kitchen and our showers are cleaned frequently for us, but we clean our own rooms. But in addition to the vacuums, people often leave stuff that they don't want to bring home with them. So there's like some weight gear, tons of scales. This is a bunch of stuff that I left. There's like printer paper and like, you know, bottles and storage stuff. Over here, pillows, Halloween decorations. It's just a bunch of random stuff and they have one of these on every floor. So definitely check it out for free goods. 
Fifth floor? Yeah, we're going fifth. Wow. I hope people, are people gonna be up there? If so. They're gonna be part of this experience. It's okay. We're just, you know, you know, that, that happens. <laughs> Hold the door for people so that your friends, so that your friends that are filming your dorm tour don't get crushed. <laughs> well, anyways, it's very high tech. We have. Uh, <laughs> it tells you what floor you're on, and it tells you like the weather of the day. Oh, and if no. there's an earthquake while you're in the elevator, it'll tell you that as well. Wow, interesting. Okay, this is Thank you. the fifth floor. There are no bedrooms up here. It's just our like common room for studying in our kitchen. Down deep. All right, so this is where we're keeping all the stuff to give to future students. You can find textbooks for classes, laundry baskets, hangers, really anything you need. Come get from the cornucopia of goods. Wow. Wow. This is normally where people study and eat dinner. Comes with the TV for all the games people brought themselves. <laughs> okay, so in these cabinets, there is a lot of manga and stuff that you can read. Moving over, it's more of like actual novels and books, mostly in English. Then we have even more, same thing. There's also some textbooks, like if you rifle through, you might be able to find what you need for your class. So this is the kitchen. It's much bigger than North Wing because a lot more people live in South Wing. But this area is each individual space. These corner shelves are shared dry goods. This fridge is entirely shared. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. You're learning something new. And then these ones are for floor. So fourth floor, second floor, third floor, first floor, and then something to know. So we got new fridges in between first semester and second semester, and it used to be fridge, like the vegetable fridge, and then freezer. So when I came back from break, I put all my freezer stuff in the bottom one, and then all my whatever, like vegetables, in the middle. But that has now flipped, so all my vegetables froze. So just so you know, the middle area is the freezer. Do not make my mistake. <laughs> And then here you have your electric stove. So first you hit this button, which will turn it on. And then there's a menu and you can just go through and keep clicking the menu button until you select the one that you want. And then you would hit this to confirm. And then you can just turn up the temperature. To turn it off, you can either hit this button again or the main one. Down below you have things like pots and pans, spoons, chopsticks, knives, forks, and then I'm pretty sure this is bowls and colanders. And we have, I guess, bowls and mugs. It's kind of an assortment. Kind of got to guess. It says on them what is supposed to go in there, but people do not follow instructions. This has your plates. I don't know what else. We have a lovely view of Nishi Wasada. Nishiwasada? Or Wasada in general. We're in Nishiwasada. I thought you meant Nishiwasada like the dorm. I was like, I'm pretty sure no. the dorm is No! No, Nishiwasada Shinjuku ni chome. I do not know what this is. Um, radioactive substances aplenty. Um, <laughs> yeah, water heaters. It's like any dorm you're ever going to live in with people. People don't clean their stuff, so, uh, you know. Wash your dishes. Yeah, wash your dishes. Avoid all the conflict that we had in the beginning and just wash your stuff. It's quite easy. Just, you know, they give you soap, they give you sponges. Just, just move that arm a little bit. That's all you need. <laughs> Elbow grease. Um, bigger bowls. What else? Anything useful? Oh, Tupperware. The, you can never find the lid to. I, there's like every size Tupperware you could ever need, but you can't close them. So, you know, do without what you will. Plastic wrap, maybe. Do I go out on the roof? Ooh! What if that is correct? Oh, you can go up. Oh, you, you should go up. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm here. I'm, I'm making. But you can go out through the door. The door's open? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, I thought they were all locked. I've been crawling through this window for months. Is she gonna put this on YouTube? Ow! Ah, my shoe! Probably. Wow, it's beautiful out here. Yeah, she's looking nice out here today. Okay, there's always construction as you can see. We hear it every morning as they 
yell and scream about the cars that are coming through. Hi. 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 I guess I'll start over here. Okay, if you come all the way over here, we have the mysterious gnome, our resident gnome what? of Sodario. I feel like I'm truly a part and of look, Sodario. Do you see like the the darkness around like the base? The only thing I can think of is it used to sit differently and then like the hurricane must have moved it. Typhoon. Yeah, typhoon. I'm dumb. <laughs> but yeah, this is her. I wish my, my bedroom had like a nicer view. Like I think the boys on the fourth floor have like a really nice Oh, at least it's windy up here because it has been hot. Ooh. All right, any thoughts and feels to share? Wow. <laughs> wow. The dark she blows, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna end it like that. <laughs>